Anyone who knows me knows how I feel about my guide dog, Alan. You two are pretty close, right? We are inseparable. And not just because he guides me everywhere, but he's my best friend. The characters we are about to meet know all about how important the relationship is between pets and their owners. Specifically, a dog named Rosie, her human, Michael Cassidy, and an organization, Elder Dog Canada. Halifax's Laura Bain has the story. Oh, she likes to sit back, don't you, like a little baby, and get wobbly. Don't ya? Michael Cassidy has had his dog Rosie, an affectionate Shih Tzu, for almost 10 years. Yeah, my girl. Yes. You daddy's girl? I wake up in the morning, first thing I want is a big hug and a kiss from her. I don't know how to explain this, she's just like my soulmate. <laughs> I'd be lost without her. She's my whole life. We do everything together, very seldom we're apart. I don't think I'd be around if it wasn't for her. She's all I have. Michael lives alone. Health concerns mean he can't always take Rosie for her walks. There are times that I am very sick and I have periods when I spend time in bed. That's where Elder Dog Canada comes in. Do you guys like cuddling with me on the couch and getting lots of lovin's and rubs? Tanya Ozard is pod leader, that's spelled P-A-W-D, of Elder Dog Canada's Halifax pod. She also owns three small dogs. Our primary vision and mission is to maintain the relationship between aging humans and their dogs. And we do that all out of a place of dignity and respect for both the aging senior and the aging dog. Elder Dog Volunteers provide services such as dog walking, transportation to and from vet or grooming appointments, and fostering when needed, all free of charge. For Michael, it's peace of mind. It's so, so amazing when you're in the hospital having surgeries and things that you know your dog's in wonderful hands and you don't have to worry about it. So I thank God for them every day. They've really changed my life. And for the better. You want to go out? Do you want to go outdoors? Who's that? Who's that? Let's go see who it is. Come on. Who's that at the door? Look. Who's that? Hello. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, Leanne? Good, how are you? Not bad. Thanks to elder dog volunteers like Leanne Boyle, Rosie gets out for walks twice a day. You ready? Are we going to go for a walk? <gasps> Where are we going? When I first met Rosie, she was just, oh my gosh, a little ball of fire. As soon as you walk inside, she's hopping all over the place and she gets super excited to see everybody. And she's just an absolute doll and everybody falls in love with her that beats her. Volunteers, clients, and dogs often form close relationships. For Leanne, catching up with Michael in the living room is as much a part of the visit as walking Rosie. So she had a good appointment at the groomers the other day? Yeah. Excellent. She likes your baby scratches. We also help Michael because he, he's one of those people that just when you meet him, he, he goes right to your heart. A lot of people don't realize the bond that anybody has with their animals and especially seniors and their dogs because sometimes like in Mike's situation they're on their own and the dog is all that they have and that's what keeps them going. These people are phenomenal. They really, really are. And there's never a worry. I don't have any worries about Rosie whatsoever anymore. For Tanya, that's what it's all about. So many older dogs are abandoned and elder dog will never let that happen. And so many seniors that, you know, are abandoned by their family or they don't have any family. And so then we become their support system. So it's a lifeline for them. And it's just, it's just very meaningful work to, to be able to see a person with their dog and happy. It's just so wonderful that there's people out there that care that much about people and their animals. It should be angel dogs, not elder dogs, because they're all angels. They really changed their lives. <laughs> I love my girl. Yes, I do. Can I have kisses too? Can I have kisses? Oh, yes. Give me kisses. <laughs> yes. Oh. Good news. Elder Dog Canada started in Nova Scotia, but it now has pods in New Brunswick, PEI, Quebec, Ontario, and Alberta. If you are an older adult struggling to care for your canine or know someone who is, or if you want to donate or volunteer, you can find out more at elderdog.ca.